All right, ladies, gentlemen, boys, girls, and fishing accomplices, good morning and welcome back to fishing. So it is the very end of July right now, uh, July 30th, I believe, and we are doing what we do best, at least that's what I like to think. We are going out to hit up the water and hopefully get on some action. Uh, salt water today, fishing the South Shore. Uh, if you watched one of the last videos, I recently got my biggest fish of all time, and I'm going to be working a similar area. Um, that Not that I'm just like hammering this spot to death. I actually tried a different spot earlier this week, and it just was not taken. Just really slow. Water was terribly stained and just did not get anything remarkable. Just deleted that footage. But today, we're going back to that area. Uh, I think we've got a good tide to work with. Uh, we've had some cooler weather, so that might play a factor. I'm expecting a lot of porgies, presumably, uh, but we could also get some fluke and some other stuff as well, so keeping all options open. Wouldn't mind getting some porgies today. I'm thinking of maybe making like a catch clean cook porgy burger, um, which we'll see how it goes. Uh, stay tuned because you know what we're about to do, and it's always true. Get some fishing accomplished. Okay, we just got in the water. It was a struggle. One of my uh, kayak tires is destroyed, so it was not fun dragging it through the sand, but whatever, we made it. When I get out, I'll just have to take everything out when I drag it back to the car, but that's future Dan's problem. So we're gonna catch our breath for a little bit. We're gonna fish where I finished the last couple times where I ended up getting the best consistently decent fluke bite. And the tide is moving in pretty fast. So we're gonna start with a half ounce uh, bucktail with a four inch gulp swimming mullet, or not swimming mullet, uh, paddle shad. And we're gonna see what we can do. Uh, if I go to the other spots, I'm sure it's gonna be loaded with porgies. Could be fluke there too, but uh, it'll probably be not so simple to fish this half ounce. So let's try this here and hopefully we'll get something good right, right off the get go. Got northwesterly winds and incoming tides. So that works out pretty well for where we are. See if the fishing will work out well. Not quite on the spot, but we'll drift for another two minutes. Half that was a bite. Half ounce is definitely flirting a bit with uh, what this current is throwing at us, but we can do it. Robin. Baby sea robin. Let's reposition. Oh, what do we have here? It feels like a fluke. Not a big fluke, but it's a fluke. It might be a decent fluke. Ah. Quick release, just how we like it. Let's get back down. Actually, let's check it first. Yeah, this is sliding down a little bit, so let's adjust that. Get it right back down. Okay, got our first fluke, so all is not lost. Let's see if we can get our second. That's, I think, a sea robin. Yeah, that's a sea robin. I think the tail's gone. Uh, yeah. That would be a porgy's doing, most likely. Change of scenery. Tide is ripping right now. I got a half ounce on here. I don't think it's gonna hold, but we'll try it see how it works and uh, adjust accordingly. Always start out light and work your way up rather than the inverse. That's my motto. Here we go. Oh, 
that's something good. That's some, oh no. Oh, that was a good fish. That felt like a massive fluke. Come back. Oh, that sucked. I definitely dropped something that felt really, really nice in that last drift. I mean, I don't know what it was, but we're going to try and hit the exact same drift again. It's not hard to miss it, as it's only my second drift over here. But uh, yeah, my gulp was munched off, so even after losing that fish, I kept it down, but it made no difference because it was already ruined, the gulp. But let's try this again. It's pretty much the same exact drift. Let's see if it's still down there and willing to bite, because he wasn't on there long. But he felt heavy. Whew. Felt like a doormat. It's up to a three quarter ounce uh, bucktail. I can hold with that half ounce, but not well. And I think this will be overall just a better presentation. So let's see how this does. If it doesn't do anything, we can always go back. When the tide slows down, I will definitely probably go back to the half ounce, but it's moving right now, so at least three quarter would probably be the way to go like probably even up to an ounce for the next 30 minutes while it's rushing oh that's something good that's something good what is that i don't know what that is we missed no <laughs> of course not of course not I see Robin now. Okay, we took off the paddle shad and threw on a grub. Let's see if this presentation change makes any difference in uh, how the fish respond to this. It's been rather lackluster, but you know there's gotta be some fish here. Maybe not a ton and maybe not a bunch of huge fish, but there's fish. Porgies. Oh, what's that? That feels good. Feels really nice. Pulling it against the tide, but could be something really nice. Just don't be another snack, Sea Robin. Not a snack fluke. Even better. Got his attention. Try that again. Keeper. Heck yeah. Let's find out. Spit the hook. I think that's a keeper. Yeah, that's an easy keeper. About 19 and a half. Cool. I honestly did not think that was going to be a keeper fluke when I hooked it. Did not come up feeling very large. In fact, of all the fish I've hooked today that I thought might have had a chance of being a decent fluke, that was like on the bottom of the totem pole. But what matters is what they look like when they come up. And I knew it was a fluke, so 19 and a half inches. That's legal, not even by this year, but by last year too. Um, but yeah, I can think of no better way to celebrate than cracking over it open our seltzer of the day. So this one is something a little different. Uh, it's another Trader Joe's one. It's seltzers with a splash. Uh, this is lemon and ginger juice seltzer. So if you remember a few weeks back, we did the, the Nipsey lime ginger. I really enjoyed that. Let's see how this compares. Ooh. So this is very different than that Nipsey one. That one was good. I liked it, but it had very artificial flavors. This feels very natural. Like it seems like real lemon and ginger. Very tasty. 
Uh, my wife picked these up. I don't go to Trader Joe's a lot. But this came in a four pack, so definitely quote unquote premium seltzer. Uh, but it's tasty, I, I would recommend it. And I also recommend while you're here to hit that like button and subscribe because uh, this is your place to see both seltzer reviews and fishing action. So let's see if we can get that guy a buddy that would make the day, especially with all this wind. Stay tuned. All right, let's see if we can get another keeper. Same general tactic, wind is picking up, letting down, picking up, letting down. It's definitely picking up right now. So we're pedaling into it to kind of maintain a more proper drift. Definitely porgies over here. Whoa, jeez. Feels like a nice fish. Right on the ledge. Got another little fluke, little washcloth, but uh, hit it right away. I mean, I was fumbling around with my GoPro and he jumped on as I was messing with it. So I'm not sure how much of that footage we got, but happy to catch him. I'm already getting bit again, but these feel like porgies. Which, if they're slabs, I'm happy to take. I think he's a little short, but we'll measure him. And you're just 17 and a half fish. Pretty though. Okay, the tide is pretty much close to peak right now. We're not moving much except for what the wind's doing. So we're going to start casting um, and work in this jerk shad. We have a six inch gulp jerk shad and a quarter ounce jig head. We're gonna let it sink down and just work it back to the boat with the tide. Uh, see if that gets any bites. Definite fluke. Let's see if he comes back. Came back. It's quite weird. You can literally see the tide switching from incoming to outgoing. We're gonna fish right on the edge of this because this could be a nice little, you know, area of disturbance and bait getting swirled up and ambushed and all that stuff, so already getting bit so that's a good sign that outgoing is moving a lot faster than the in incoming too so let's see if we can capitalize on some action before this gets really sloppy more spotting us it's on the way back to launch obviously the wind was definitely more than we expected today um, but again I had no ambitions to go really far today. I just wanted to keep it local. The tides weren't right and the winds honestly weren't right either, even if they were more cooperative. But uh, we're gonna hit this spot up on the way out. It's been good to me the last couple sessions. I'm willing to give it no less than 15 minutes and no more than 30. Um, the spot I did hit up on the way in. I do find that this fish is better in the outgoing tide though. So we're gonna start with a half ounce spro bucktail, four inch gulps um, grub. See if we can pull out a, a fluke and ideally a keeper or two. If this is too light though, we will upgrade to three quarter ounce. Last spot. There it is. 
It's always fluke here, I tell you what. Could be good. I'm pulling them against tide, but it could be a nice one. I doubt it though. I just got the perfect angle. Felt small at first, but now it feels nice. got one fluke out of this last spot let's see if we can get another it is so sloppy out it's wind directly against tide and across drift um, wind pushing us out at the same time as against the tide so we're kind of pedaling against the wind and just walking with the tide uh, yeah not easy not extremely fun unless you're getting fish and we did get that last one so let's try it again getting bit again doesn't feel like a fluke though So there's another one down. Uh, tough day of fishing. Conditions were not ideal, but we made it work. Uh, obviously we got that one keeper fluke and some corgis, though that might be in another separate side video that I put down. Uh, but anyways, yeah, I mean, if nothing else, we've been pretty consistent on finding the fluke all summer. No huge ones really, other than that one really nice one earlier in the summer. But yeah, um, I'm probably gonna give this area a little bit of a break depending on how things go. I'm hoping to do a few little road trips in the next few sessions. Some will be saltwater, some won't, depending on how things go. But this was fun. Um, definitely trying to find the cooler water. Uh, back bays can have some action, but it's hit or miss. Uh, the last time I went, it was definitely missed. So not saying I won't go back there again, but just needed a little break, so yeah fun little outing glad i did it uh it doesn't feel obscenely hot out right now either so i hope you enjoyed please make sure to hit that like button subscribe etc catch you in the winter next time of course goodbye from fishing